Turn on your Earth Languages translator, Yort. Finally, it looks like we found a human domicile to learn about their tradition of Christmas. Trust me, this will go as smoothly as our flight here. That's what I was afraid of. Is it too late to transfer to one of the other teams? Like the one learning about Kwanzaa, or Yule, or Boxing Day even? Too late now, Jort. You know what you did. Okay, these human homes are even weirder than I thought. Where do they even keep their Fusilex? I've heard stories of these trees in homes. Why do they hang all those cat toys on them? Oh, Jit, look. Are those the hypothesized milk and cookies on that disc thing over there? Should we try some? Quick, up on the roof. Wait, that's not... No, it can't be. He has to be a rumor, right? <laughs> a rumor, am I? No, I'm Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, chicken and short. You can call me Nick. How do you know our names? Why? Because I'm Santa Claus. That's why I know everyone. Also, I was reading it in the script when I crashed. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the skies, little ones. Ho, ho, ho. Now, the question is, how do I deliver my presents? My sleigh looks like I just bought it from a Swedish furniture manufacturer. Hey, Jet, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Already on it, Jort. Ah, uh, why? I believe I know what you two have in mind already. Maybe old Santa and some of his pixie dust can be of some help here. Ho 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 ho! All aboard! It was Christmas Eve, Santa took the ride, but then his sleigh crashed. Oh, what a slide! In the deep, deep woods with no one around, two friendly aliens is who he found. Jin and Jort from outer space. Helping Santa's mission at an interstellar pace. In their flying saucer, they zoom through the night, delivering presents. What a wacky sight. Jin and Jort from outer space. Helping Santa's mission at an interstellar pace. In their flying saucer, they zoom through the night, delivering presents. What a wacky sight. Around the world, people who watch Santa's sleigh each year report the Jolly Elf is nowhere to be found. Could the flying saucer seen around the globe be responsible? Why my political party wouldn't let this happen? It's all that other party that is to blame for Santa not being seen. We'll be holding congressional hearings soon. And we suspect the flying saucers are from that foreign country that has you scared. We'll be taking the money from your kids' school lunches to pay for your freedom. Why, if I known how quick and comfortable flying saucers were, I would have traded my sleigh in long ago. <laughs> but Santa, we came to Earth to learn the real meaning of Christmas. Ho, 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 ho! Why, Jit and Jort, don't you see? You already knew the true meaning of Christmas. Um, ghosts haunting rich people until they pay their workers more? No, the other true meaning of Christmas. Red light, like from my nose, has a longer wavelength than blue light, which means that it can scatter less in the atmosphere, allowing Santa to see further while flying his sled. The other, other true meaning of Christmas. Filling the room with empty boxes for the cat? Well, I mean, partly, but no, what I mean is being nice to other beings, like you two were to me, and all the people of Earth when you helped deliver presents tonight. <laughs> oh, so speaking of which, uh, 
Do you mind giving old Nip a uh, drop off at the uh, North Pole along with my reindeer friends and uh, assorted elves, please? Oh, and uh, should probably look into picking up that sleigh on the way back. I, I don't want a litter. Oh, and Santa has a gift for you as well. Some pixie dust for your spacecraft. He will get you back home to your planet in time for Christmas. Whoa! The aliens learned something about Christmas that night, and maybe something about themselves as well. And their planet learned to love Christmas, eventually. But that's another story.